Sunshines, it's Michelle here and it has been a minute. It has been probably about three weeks since I posted a video. It's been a minute. Um, it's today, it's Thursday, so we are going to talk about Thursday and things we're making Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. So, um, I'm in a time crunch because I have like an hour to get the recorded video, edit it, get it up, and then we have to take off for all the things. So, here I am. Crazy makeup. Yes, it's very crazy, but it's the 4th of July, so it's okay to have crazy, crazy. Um, yeah. And speaking of that, happy 4th of July. I missed Canada Day for those of you in Canada, so happy belated Canada Day. Uh, it's 4th of July for everybody, so happy 4th of July. And then to you in the United States, happy Independence Day. Everybody gets a July 4th. Only United States gets an Independence Day on July 4th. Uh, other state countries do get Independence Day. Anyway, it is a new month. Oh, so exciting. So for wearable months last month, I do want to say I did finish a hat. I finished this hat in... June, uh, but like I said, I didn't really do a lot of videos. So this was a tithing hat. It's what I'm planning to give away to the homeless this fall. Um, so yeah, hat. And that brings us into July, which is amigurumi. I can't remember the language that amigurumi comes from, but it basically means like little stuffed toy. And so this snake, Millie, my temperature snake from last year, she is a form of amigurumi. This is from Planet June, and Planet June it has a lot of amigurumi patterns. So you can go check that out. I think she, I don't know what she has on her YouTube channel. Uh, I know she has some tutorials on how to do some of the steps in her things, but I don't know beyond that. My gnome I made a while back, he is a an amigurumi. Now I got the idea of how to make his hat. This one I just made up on my own. But his hat and some of the other things um, I got from... Oh man, her name's eluded me. She has a lot of gnome stuff. So I will put a link to her Ravelry page because I will have figured it out and linked that. But I did like crochet the bottom of this uh, I think his looks like his nose is crocheted um, but I made him up but I originally got the idea and have made a lot of gnomes specifically from her patterns oh that is gonna make me so bad I've got to go look right now so I'll just go find the patterns her name is Sarah but that is not her oh imagine landscapes imagine landscapes is her uh, all her like her YouTube name and her different things like that so I will also link her YouTube channel I'll link her YouTube channel I'll link Planet June's YouTube channel and both of their Ravelry pages um, so like I said I got the hat from hers and I did make I don't have them any, any of them close by because I made them and give them away to people um, but that's where I first learned to knit gnomes um, so she's got those. There's all kinds of people. Um, I really enjoy watching Complicated Knots and Skein Spider. They're both from Australia. They're really fun. Um, and I like watching them share what they're creating because a lot of the time they put their methodology, the why they do things. Like they design their own stuff and you get to see some of their design process and things like that. And I really like that. Um, so I'm going to link both of their channels down below. Um, oh, got glitter all over me. Glitter once you put it on, it's everywhere. So there is, there's a lot, of, there are so many things out there, so many patterns and so many things that you can make. And okay, when I'm seeing things, oh, it's the leaf. I was like, why? Why, when I'm looking at this, does it look so wrong? But it's just the way the leaf was hitting in front of him. That doesn't really 
help. Uh, <laughs> I should stop looking at myself and just focus on the camera. Um, so yeah, okay. One of the subscribers, Angela, she has been sending me pictures and today she sent me this little ghost. Actually, I'll just put it up above me so you can see it. Um, that's what one of the things she's been working on for July things we're making Thursday. Um, so I am so stinking excited to share with you my thing. Some of you are aware of this project. It has been a labor of love. So a very, very long time ago, I made Mama Octopus. I, I am like so extra proud. Seriously. I am so extra proud of her face. I just love how the smile turned out, the big eyes, just like I'm so extra proud of her. Um, I didn't do the pattern exactly as the pattern that I'm linking below. Um, and part of that is because I was so annoyed with doing single crochets to make the thing that I actually did some math and I did double crochets for the head. And so I used her increase and decrease roses, rose, rose, as um, an, a, a starting point and then I just switched from double crochet or single crochets to double crochets and I figured that out so it made it easier to make the head I just love the way it turned out I followed the tentacles exactly as planned and it has the little button to make and hold it so inside I have babies they look so similar to the ghosts that Angela made <laughs> but I have baby octopi this is the memory game and this is where I got hung up. I got the mama octopus done and I was like, yay, I'm doing great. I'm gonna make this for my grandchildren. It's gonna be awesome. And then I hated this. I was already using very small crochet hook and uh, plastic yarn, so acrylic yarn, and single crochets. And the combination was No, 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 no. The combination was not great for me. I um, did not enjoy it. Uh, I had to buy more yarn. I was lucky to find yarn that actually matched. It's hard to tell because it's so blown out, but they do actually match really well. It's so one nice thing about using the acrylic yarns. Um, and, and then it just became even squeakier, and it might have been because of my poor crochet hook. But... I am happy, so, so incredibly happy to tell you that this was the last octopus and it is done and it is just in time because my granddaughter's birthday is next week and I got to get this in the mail up to Washington State. Um, and if you don't know, I live in Utah, so yeah, I'm so excited. So I have, let me see, I'm trying to show you here. I have two purple ones and then I will put one here and one here so I remember what I've done um, I have two orange ones okay do, do, do. and then I have oh where here we go this is kind of a rose color, rosy red color, like a light red. I have two of those. Do, do, do. Okay, I have two blues. I ended up doing two pinks. So the bottom is just the same color. I have two of these mint green colors. 
two of these pale yellow colors and two of these white colors okay so I have one two three excuse me mama oh hey I was like I knew I packed scissors with me where did they show up they got hidden inside mama no wonder they disappeared okay <laughs> four and this hand and four in this hand so there are eight sets all together and those are the different colors so I did it kind of where you have like a, a rainbow we've got red here and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple and then I did white and pink so it kind of covered the rainbow in a way but they're kind of pastel -y rainbows so um yeah they're really fun and i'm really excited and i am so excited for my granddaughter to have these so that was fun i am so so incredibly happy to have this project done i had tried making it be the mystery yarn challenge when we could do whips um i had tried tried that two months in a row got nowhere um, I had tried like you can't work on anything else and I just would crochet or knit anything like I tried all kinds of things and made very slow progress and then a week or two ago I was like okay if I'm gonna send this to my granddaughter for her birthday I have to make this many a day and I had to make like one and a half and I would usually end up making two sometimes three in a day because they're not long I just didn't enjoy it and now this project is done it is complete mama and her babies are done and ready to go to my granddaughter yay yay let's all have a moment of celebration <laughs> okay so yeah um as far as the rest of July goes I don't know I don't know. I have to think about it because I have so many things that have been sitting on hold and so many things I want to do, but I don't really think that anything is necessarily amicaroomy. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing really much more in the way of amigurumi this month or not. Um, I might do like some people do and pull up some of the things that I've made before and show you guys as kind of examples of some of the amigurumis I've made. I was making amigurumi before amigurumi was called amigurumi. Um, I started crocheting back in the 80s and I sometimes made toys, stuffed toys, and we just called them stuffies or toys or you know stuffed whatever's and somewhere along the way that term amigurumi caught on and now it's the term used um and i don't even know when maybe i'll see if i can find that out before next week but yeah uh that's that's it that's the the, the things that's my things are making thursday today remember to let your light shine through your creations have a happy fourth of july no matter where in the world you are and if you are in the united states and celebrating the country's birth happy independence day and i will see you guys next time bye